This is probably the biggest regulatory event in the history of our industry, and it's going to have a lot of impact moving forward. And we'll learn a lot more over the next week or two. Maybe it's just going to be the case where after battling for years, they pay a fine and they move on. Maybe it's the case that this is the example that the SEC has been waiting for to establish case law, and they've carefully thought about it. And they've been super strategic. Uh, maybe it's the case that policy is going to so radically change between administrations that this is the Treasury Secretary's last hurrah to try to rock the boat with cryptocurrencies before cryptocurrencies become further legitimized. Who knows? It's an interesting thing. Now, the reason why this is a big deal for the industry as a whole is that it may have a profound implication on how the SEC in the future views whether something is a security or not. There are a lot of facts and circumstances there that it's just impossible to know where the SEC is going with this until we actually read the court filing. From our part, we're, of course, going to look at it and analyze it. On the outset, I don't think that this has any impact at all on Cardano. Um, Cardano standing, we're 100 times more decentralized than Bitcoin. Uh, there's real use and utility. It's definitely a cryptocurrency platform, and it's just kind of the next generation of things from what you see with Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I feel very comfortable that uh, it would be classified as a commodity uh, by any reasonable uh, standard and test. And the ecosystem is run by thousands of actors at this point with hundreds of thousands of community members and uh, does not require any custodial core entities. And the consensus system is permissionless as opposed to Ripple, which is permissioned. I don't think this is going to have any material impact on the third generations, as I said, and uh, no need for panic as an industry as a whole. But it is a, a really puzzling thing to me uh, that something like this would come out so quickly uh, before one administration ends to another. It's just a bizarre thing. Uh, four days before Christmas is a bizarre thing as well. This is not normal behavior. Normally you do this in January if you're going to do it, especially if there were negotiations between the two entities.